John Fitzgerald Kennedy, often known as JFK, was born on May 29, 1917, in Brookline, Massachusetts. He was the second of nine children in a wealthy and politically influential family. His parents groomed him for public service from a young age. Kennedy attended Harvard University, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in international affairs in 1940. Post-graduation, he joined the U.S. Navy and served during World War II. His heroic actions following the collision of his patrol boat earned him a Navy and Marine Corps medal. In 1946, JFK embarked on his political journey, winning a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives as a Democrat from Massachusetts. His charisma and family's influence fast-tracked his political career. In 1952, he moved on to the U.S. Senate. While serving in the Senate, Kennedy met and married Jacqueline Bouvier in 1953. The couple would later have four children, two of whom tragically died in infancy. The Kennedy family quickly became America's sweetheart, embodying the nation's hopes and dreams. In 1956, Kennedy narrowly missed becoming the Democratic vice presidential candidate. However, this helped raise his national profile, setting the stage for his presidential run. His best-selling book, Profiles in Courage, also won him the Pulitzer Prize in 1957, further boosting his reputation. Kennedy announced his presidential candidacy in 1960. Leveraging his charm, eloquence, and telegenic appeal, he won the Democratic nomination. The decisive factor in the general elections was the first-ever televised presidential debates, where Kennedy vastly outperformed his rival, Richard Nixon. In 1961, Kennedy was inaugurated as the 35th President of the United States, becoming the youngest elected president at the age of 43. His inaugural speech with its famous quote, Ask not what your country can do for you, Ask what you can do for your country, inspired millions. The justice of the United States. You, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of your ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Kennedy's presidency was defined by significant events like the Cuban Missile Crisis, the space race, the building of the Berlin Wall, and the early stages of the Vietnam War. His administration was also instrumental in advancing civil rights and establishing the Peace Corps. However, Kennedy's presidency wasn't without controversy. The failed Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba and his administration's alleged ties with organized crime garnered significant criticism. Yet, Kennedy remained widely popular due to his charisma and strong leadership. The most significant achievement of JFK's presidency was successfully navigating the Cuban Missile Crisis. This 13-day standoff between the U.S. and the Soviet Union could have led to nuclear war. Kennedy's diplomatic skills and firm stance eventually led to the Soviets withdrawing their missiles. Kennedy also prioritized the space race. He set the ambitious goal of landing an American on the moon by the end of the 1960s. Although he didn't live to see it, his vision was realized when Neil Armstrong set foot on the lunar surface in 1969. Kennedy's presidency was tragically cut short on November 22, 1963. 
while on a political trip in Dallas, Texas, he was assassinated. The event shocked the nation and the world. The alleged assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald, was arrested, but was killed two days later by Jack Ruby. The circumstances of Kennedy's assassination sparked numerous conspiracy theories. Doubts arose about Oswald being the lone gunman, leading to theories involving the Mafia, the CIA, and even Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson. However, none of these theories have been conclusively proven. After the assassination, Johnson was sworn in as president. He upheld many of Kennedy's policies, especially in civil rights, culminating in the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Johnson also continued the Vietnam War, which would end up dividing the nation. Kennedy's legacy continues to influence American politics. His vision of a new frontier helped shape the nation's direction. His commitment to civil rights, peace, and space exploration left an indelible mark on the country. Despite his short term, JFK is often ranked highly among U.S. presidents. His charisma, vision, and leadership during crises are widely admired. His life and administration have been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and films. Kennedy's life and career were marked by both privilege and tragedy. From his childhood as a member of a wealthy and influential family to his untimely death, his journey was nothing short of extraordinary. His story continues to captivate and inspire. The life of John F. Kennedy serves as a testament to the impact of strong leadership. It's a reminder that one person, armed with vision and determination, can inspire change. Despite his tragic end, his legacy continues to shape the nation. In the end, John F. Kennedy's life is a deeply compelling narrative of ambition, power, and tragedy. From his early years to his presidency and untimely death, his story offers a fascinating glimpse into one of the most significant periods in American history. John F. Kennedy, from cradle to Camelot and beyond, paints a detailed picture of JFK's life and legacy. It encapsulates his journey from a young boy groomed for public service to becoming one of the most influential figures of the 20th century.